What's up, everybody? It's Vince. And today, we are going to be closing my email because I don't really want you guys to look at my email for no particular reason other than it's just my email. So today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be trying to clean up this desktop area and make more space by getting rid of these two stands for these Samsung 4K monitors and installing a single stand with two arms. It's gonna make it fully adjustable. It's gonna get crazy up in here with the adjustability. We're gonna be able to move our cameras around and do all kinds of funky stuff, turn, turn the monitors sideways and all. I, I know I'm gonna have this highly adjustable mount, but it probably is gonna go into place and then the monitors are gonna go in place and I'll probably never move again. But we're gonna make some space and we're gonna get started right now. This is your first time to the channel. You might not know that we do tons and tons of the best live streams on all of YouTube right in front of these monitors using these cameras here and a DSLR over there. And quite frankly, I mounted this bar so I could use these quick clamps and mounts and arms to mount different peripherals. If you want to see the video, how to create that that framework for those arms. We'll link that video here, right here. Go check it out. But today, we're gonna need to move these monitors out of the way, find a spot in between our framework, and get this thing mounted. It should be fairly simple. Every time I say something like that, it's just never fairly simple. So what we have is an Amazon Basics dual side-by-side -side monitor mount. It looks like it's part number B-O-O-M-I-B, -O -O like Men in Black. Boom! Look at that. Boom! Men in Black! N7-1-I. So, I believe this monitor stand is highly adjustable. I do believe it was like $190 or something, but because we got an open box, we got a very significant discount on this monitor stand. So, if you're going to Amazon, especially with stuff like monitor mounts, it, the, the, the condition was, like it said used, open box, or new, new, like new, box damage. I mean, who cares? Look at this. So it has box damage. Big deal. As long as the monitor mount's not damaged, who, what's the difference? So let's take a look what we got to do here. Now, you could do this the easy way. And, you know, I never do anything the easy way. It's just, you know, if you could just pretty much if you had an open back table, you'd be able to just slip this on, okay? Clamp this down. And then boom, you'd mount your arms. But we can't do that, so. We're gonna go about this the hard way. They have an option to drill a hole and then mount straight through, as you can see right here. And that's what we're going to do. Plate mount to attach the monitor arm to an area that is away from the edge of the tabletop. This mounting option requires a hole through the mounting surface. Go to plate mount on page seven. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to plate mount. How easy is this to plate mount? The other thing is that's great about this monitor mount. You can look at its specifications. Okay, it supports from five to 20 pound monitors. Okay, you can see the, the, the range of adjustability, the orient, orientation, but uh, we have fairly, I have a fairly large monitor here, 28 inches. I believe this monitor stand will do up to 30 inches. 
and I like the idea that it's a gas operated arm. They're gas operated arms. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're spring operated arms. Wow, oh, they're spring operated arms. I was wrong. To swap this from an edge mount to a hole mount, you're gonna remove your clamp. You're gonna use the supplied Allen, Allen, Allen wrench, Allen key, whatever you wanna call it. See, once that's off, then you're gonna remove this other plate here. You can see it has nice rubber feet here. So it should not mar your tabletop. Okay, we're gonna set these aside. Once you remove the other base plate, you're gonna to wanna to attach this base plate. You're gonna to wanna to take this, this bolt this carriage style bolt and stick this in there first. So you want to be almost directly in the center. Ow, 61 and a quarter. Half of that would be 30 and a half plus an eighth. So 30 and five eighths. Okay, now, we need to remove this washer or remove the clamp plate, they're calling it, from the clamp assembly using a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, and then what will happen is you'll, you'll use this on the underside to clamp this down. Your whole diameter can be anywhere from one third to two inches, okay? But the tabletop thickness has to be from zero to three inches. Obviously anything thinner than zero inches wouldn't support the stand. And quite frankly, anything thinner than three quarters of an inch, I would be concerned, depending on the type of material. But up to three inches. Now, could you, if you had something thicker, replace this bolt? Potentially, yes. So you're, you're not totally out of luck, but just keep that in mind. So you're gonna wanna find a position on your desk where you want to mount your base, okay? And also, you're gonna wanna find the position, especially if you're trying to get this mount tight to the wall, the back of the base to the center of your hole, it's one inch, 13 sixteenths if you wanted to be exact. So we decided to go with a 7 eighths of an inch hole. Now, the manual says you could go from anything from 1 third of an inch all the way to two inches. Quite frankly, all of our cable management's gonna come up through this hole next to our mount. So it doesn't, you know, our hole doesn't necessarily have to be that big. going to do is you're going to get your base you're going to get your bolt you're going to drop it down into the hole then you're going to go to the underside before we do that I don't, I don't think that there should be so there'll be no clearance issues just wanted to confirm that before I go bolting this thing down See what's hitting it? It's a two by four here. You want to notch it out with the multi tool? I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to do something.
All right. Simple. <laughs> you put your you put your your clamp on. You put your your wing nut. If you need to make some clearance, you make some clearance. And now our base plate's mounted. Let's just make sure it's in the right spot. We're tight against the wall. We're in the center here. Beautiful. Well, that was simple. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna mount our arms. So all we're gonna do is, you have your choice of either using these thumb screws, or if you're not comfortable using the thumb screws, you can use the 10 millimeter screws. When you mount this arm onto your monitor, if you wanted to lock the orientation of the monitor, you would insert the M3 by six millimeter screw into the hole right here. And that would lock your orientation. I want to be able to move my orientation, so I'm gonna leave it unlocked, because I'm a rebel. And all we're gonna do. Then we'll get our favorite screwdriver. Why is it our favorite screwdriver? Well, we'll tell you why in this video here. Now, could it be upside down? No. How is this thing not strong enough to hold? I'll tell you something else. I, I don't like it. It only goes down, it doesn't go up. Try the thing the other way around. It's, it's, it's far from infinitely adjustable, I'll tell you that much. Is that what they claim? Yeah. Like, how, how, how are you supposed to be able to, like, orient this the other way? Is it because the, of, the, of the Samsung mounts Mounts are so high? Possibly. I figured it would be on the low. <laughs> it's bizarre. It would be on the low. Probably what they were figuring too. It, 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 they won't. They won't sit next to one another. I gotta tell you, I'm a little disappointed here. The only way to get those monitors side by side is mount them upside down and they have to be they have to be away from the wall I'd have to call this a fail for our application what do you think Nick I don't like it this was our unboxing and installation of the Amazon Amazon basics dual side-by-side -side monitor mount our take is, is that if you're going to be using this monitor mount against a wall, okay, on a desk, it would be nearly impossible to get these two monitors to sit side by side. They'd have to be so far out that it would be wasting a ton of space for us, number one. Number two, when you're using this Amazon's Basics 
monitor mount with Samsung monitors. If you, if you orient these the way that Samsung intended, which would be to mount the vase mount up high, there's literally no adjustability to the monitor. It, it literally can do nothing but go down. So is that an inherent flaw with the Amazon Basics monitor mount, side-by-side -side monitor mount, or is that a flaw with the Samsung monitors? Leave it down in the comments section below. I mean, the mount is fairly simple to, to get set up. It just looks like a fail for our application. And quite frankly, it's, it's rating whether that's f more f you know further adjustable that weight rating of 20 pounds that's a little generous there's there's no way that this monitor is 20 pounds yo i, I gotta say I, I don't think it's a win for this application leave it at that so if you're using your amazon's basics monitor mount with Samsung monitors beware if you like this video and YouTube creators have saved you the time and trouble of buying stuff that don't work together smash that like button also if you like our effort you like our channel and you like our style get subscribed make sure to crack that bell notification icon because we upload videos daily we go live once daily and we're always doing giveaways so you're going to want to be notified of the activity from the very cool guys and the very cool gang so let freedom ring crack that bell notification you know we are in the philadelphia region so we're all about the liberty bell but as always thanks a lot have a great day i don't know maybe we will revisit this or i don't know i don't know what we're going to do but you know if that bell notification is cracked you'll find out about it when it happens have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Let me put them back on. Back to the drawing board. Did you like that video? Wondering what to watch next? Well, why don't you click over here and watch this video? Or click over here and watch this video. If you really like our content, we hope you consider getting subscribed by clicking right here. Thanks a lot, and have a great day, guys.